Welcome to Computron Support, and today we're going to explain the difference between shutdown and restart. You've heard the old cliche, have you switched it off and back on again? Well, there is a correct and an incorrect way of doing that. Let's explain. Computron. So you've run into problems with your computer on Windows 10, you've called IT support and you met with the uh, the old cliche, they, they tell you on the phone or they say to you, have you switched it off and back on again? I do myself, I have customers call me and describe the fault and it's generally the first thing I would ask, have you, have you switched it off and back on again? Um, however, there is a huge difference between switching a computer off and restarting a computer. There are two options that are shut down. Well, there's three, actually. There's sleep, but we don't use that. Uh, you've got shut down or restart. And there is actually a huge difference between the two uh, procedures. You would think both it's the same thing, really, but no. Uh, there's a huge difference between what these things do. Now, we'll start with shutdown. What shutdown does, let's try and make sense of this. When you shut down a Windows 10 computer, it doesn't just power it off and shut it down. It creates cache files. It creates what, what's known as uh, hypersys. We call them hypersys files. Uh, they're hyperfile.sys, uh, but we know them as uh, hypersys files. These are cache files. So what the computer actually does, it takes, it's part of this thing called quick start, fast boot. Uh, it's called lots of different things. And what the computer actually does it takes, if you like, a snapshot of all the running processes. And when the computer restarts again, or when you switch it completely off and back on again from cold, what it does, it reloads it in exactly the same way that you had it. Therefore, if you have any problems with uh, perhaps background applications or systems that are causing problems with your system, when you switch it off, completely off, and back on again, these problems Obviously, you guessed it, will return exactly as they were. The other option is to use restart, and there's a huge difference what the two do. Uh, restarting, of course, completely shuts the computer down, and it shuts down all of the background applications, and it doesn't load the system from the, the snapshot that it's taken previously. It actually sh shuts all system files and background applications. It closes them all, and reopens them. And nine times out of ten, this can this can solve, uh, generally speaking, this can solve thousands of different problems with your computer. Uh, restarting the system using the restart button can also perhaps install any updates that are pending, that are sitting there waiting uh, to be installed. They're waiting for you to restart the computer and they can't install until you've done that. Shutting down and switching back on quite often doesn't have the same effect. So there is a huge difference between when the IT support, uh, when you phone the IT crowd uh, and they say to you, have you switched it off and back on again? There are two methods of doing this. The correct way properly is to restart. So actually go for your start menu and restart. The fast boot thing that we, we spoke about, or quick boot as it's often known as, if we pull up a control panel, and I'm going to do this very quickly, it can be enabled or disabled from uh, within Windows or from within the BIOS settings. Uh, to do so, we'd head into hardware and sound from the control panel, power options, uh, from here, choose what the power buttons do. Uh, lots of the settings are greyed out here. We can click change settings that are currently unavailable. And here is a tick box that will say, that will ask you whether you want to use. In this case, uh, Microsoft are calling it uh, fast startup. Um, so you can disable that. However, you don't want to do that because it's actually a clever little piece of tech. It does allow your system to load quicker. So you do want to have it enabled. Um, so really we're trying to explain the difference between the two, between shutdown and restart. They're, they are two completely different things now that we're onto Windows 10 and using fast boot uh, or quick boot, whatever term that you use. Uh, so try both. If your advice is switch off, try both. Try shutting down completely, starting back up from cold 
uh, furthermore try restart and you might just find it will solve the problems if it does hit like if this video is of any help to you uh, as always hit the the wee thumbs up icon down there somewhere uh, subscribe if you want to if you don't don't but thank you for watching bye for now